Hey guys, I've been asked a few times if I would do a flip through of my nursing school planner and that's what we're going to do today. So I am almost done with my final semester of nursing school, which feels insane to say that. It also doesn't feel real at all. So we're going to do a flip through of this thing. Um, this is the mini happy planner. It's a dashboard layout. I have metal discs on it and a cute little striped cover. We opened this thing up and I had initially started to do a schedule of my classes and clinicals. I had my classes planned out, but I didn't write clinicals in here because in our final semester we were doing um, precepting and clinicals were so sporadic. I didn't have a set schedule, so I didn't even write those in there, but I did have my classes wrote down. Moving on, we got our little title page. And I started using this planner in January of 2020. This was the monthly layout. And in my monthlies, I always, I try to color coordinate some things, it makes it easier whenever I'm looking for specific items. So the light blue are personal things. The light pink color is for one of my nursing classes. The purple purplish color here was for my other nursing class. And then the yellow looks like it was for exams. Clinicals um, were this dark blue, it looks like. So that was January, first week. Normally, I didn't start this week. I think I started the next week, right? Maybe not. Yeah, I didn't actually start this week. So I did have a block over here that was for school stuff. It looked like I had some things that I needed to get finished up for that. Just a general to-do list. Same thing for all of this over here. And I do believe we started this week okay so then this would have been the second week of january over here is just the to-do list this was school some things that i had to get like get clinical bag ready set up my binders print some notes and stuff and then moving on this would have been my first week actually starting the final semester so i always like to break it down on the left side by section so this would have been nursing six which would have been my main nursing class this was another nursing class that we had called trends this is a general to-do list, and then I made this section down here a clinical list. So I actually created this spread using the nurse sticker book. Y'all, this is such a cute sticker book. You definitely need to get your hands on it. So super duper cute. I use that, and I also use a student sticker book. Moving on, same thing, nursing, trends, clinical to-do list. This is a general to-do list. And what I use the dailies, um, the daily items over here for is like, day specific things. So if we have an exam, like here, endo quiz, um, we had another quiz, um, things that I needed to, to do on specific days. I had my hospice clinical here. That was Levi's birthday. Same thing, nursing. And then I combined them here, clinical and trends, because we didn't have a ton of assignments and trends. And I actually completed um, all of them fairly quickly just to get them done and out of the way so I didn't have to stress with them. And then this is my general to-do list and same thing. We had a quiz here. I did, in the beginning I was writing down class times until I learned my schedule and then I didn't have to do that anymore. So moving on from there, we have February. And I started to use these cute little cross stickers for clinicals. The yellow is exams. The pink is, the color coordination went with every single month. The light pink was one of my nursing class. The purple color was trends. Um, the darker blue was personal, so was this color was personal as well. And then again, clinicals, I had the little crosses. So I had a med surge clinical here, my labor and delivery clinical up there, my ICU clinical here, med surge, med surge. We, was, um, we also had a clinical here. First week of February. Still same concept, general to-do list, nursing. This would have been clinicals. And I just had day specific things over here. It looks like the yellow was more important information. So like I had my um, endo exam, I had my L&D clinical there. I feel like I'm gonna say the same things over and over and over again, you guys, because I pretty much had a system in place and I stuck with it every single week. It made planning so much easier because I wasn't trying to reinvent the wheel every week. I knew what I needed to do, where things went. I had um, certain lists and things that go in certain places and that's kind of what I stuck with. 
oh, this was a cute little spread. Man, those nurses, they just kill me. They're so stinking cute. So um, these look like bigger projects I had to do. This was still clinical. This was still for my nursing class, my general to-do list. And I use these cute little stethoscope stickers for clinicals. Those also were in the nurse sticker book. Oh, this was a cute spread. This is a very cute spread. So here I used, um, I like to color coordinate and I like for important tasks to stick out. So that's why there's like the purple color here and the rest is the gray color. That way those two stand out more because that was a quiz. And then I had two quizzes on that day and a med surge clinical, but it got canceled it looks like. So moving on into March. Now March, I did change things up just a little bit. Personal or green in March, that way it would match the um, palm tree or palm leaves. Still use the crosses for med surge clinical. I do believe y'all, this is where we went into quarantine. So we had our spring break and we actually didn't go back to class after spring break. So everything from there, all got canceled it all got rescheduled it all got I mean so the rest of this was just null and void very quickly <laughs> so we had our spring break we planned on coming back I remember it was going to have a blood exam um but it didn't happen so everything in there got canceled and I this is already planned out like you'll see April's planned out even though everything got changed because I plan out an entire semester at once I sit down and get it all planned out I get the monthly layouts already ready to go that way each month I don't have to stress about it but this pretty much, after our spring break, was just, we didn't have to do any of that. Uh, we still did it. It's just not not in the way it was planned to do. We didn't, you know, obviously weren't allowed to go back to clinicals and that kind of thing. So, first week in March. Nursing, general to-do list. Looks like I didn't have anything for clinicals. Second week, pretty simple. These were clinicals, and I remember my clinicals kept getting canceled one after another. It was awful. Um, this wasn't, we hadn't gone into quarantine yet for there. Yeah, this week we, we hadn't gone into um, the stay home order, hadn't been put into place yet, but my clinicals did get canceled. Would have been the next week, which would have been this week, am I right? The 16th, yes. Um, so this is where we started to... I just kind of started to do things that needed to be done that were still on the table that we still had to do. For example, doing questions on what's called lip and cot pass point. Um, we still had to do that. So I had some stuff over here, um, like a pediatric project. I didn't know if it was going to be done, so that needed to be completed. And that's pretty much, pretty much what kind of happened after that. Here, same thing. Um, these are just, this whole entire thing become a general to-do list because I didn't have a clinical list anymore. And nursing was basically me repeating the same stuff because I'm going to be very honest with you. I wasn't being very productive because when we went on quarantine, it was so stressful. I didn't have any motivation to do any of it. Plus, I didn't know for sure what was going to be due, how they were changing things at the time. So you'll see I repeated those tasks a couple of different times. But this was such a cute spread. And then we go into April. April was already planned out in advance. Um, same thing, the bl light blue and the dark blue are personal. The yellow is um, exams. The pink is for my nursing class. The purple was for trends. This was a clinical. I hadn't had my clinical schedule for April yet. I had had it up until um, the third week of March. So that was the thing with precepting. Um, my nurse that I was with hadn't had her schedule yet, so that's why there was no clinical days planned. Um, but if I had gotten that schedule, I would have definitely planned them in here. But, you know, we, we didn't get that far. Oh my gosh, I remember this spread. It's so stinking cute. Summer state of mind. I've been in a summer state of mind since last year. Okay, general to-do list, nursing school. And then I just used these little um, check boxes as to-do list. Looks like I was doing basic stuff like mow the backyard that kind of thing. We had to do clinical hours. We started doing clinical hours online where we was doing um, case studies and that was our clinical hours. And this was the last week that I had planned in this thing before I switched over to a different planner. So general to-do list, nursing school. That's just a personal thing. 
and this is all just personal stuff. It wasn't really, wasn't too many things done for school at this point because I still wasn't 100% for sure what all was happening. We had a few leadership assignments that we had to do, so that was pretty much it. It looks like our final got posted that week. We had finals online. Okay, so then we go into May, and for May, I still just had sticky notes planned down because these dates were kind of set in stone, but not fully set in stone. So we had like three exit HESIs we had to do, but if you passed your first exit HESI, you didn't have to do the second or the third one. Um, we had our pinning ceremony, which got canceled, um, our commencement, which got canceled. So that's that. And then back here, what did I have back here? Goals, maybe? Oh, I was doing this for my workout. That's right. And then I stopped doing that. I stopped tracking everything inside of my planner for health and fitness. And I started to track it in my phone because it was easier at the time. And then back here, I just had some inserts, little notes one. These were a classic size assignment sheet and I just cut the bottoms off to have those. Mom and so hard. Just some so tired and some blank ones. And then I had a folder that I never use, but I always think folders are cute, so I stuck it in there. And that, my friends, was my nursing school planner for the last semester. Now I know right now we're not, you know, going back to class or clinicals or anything, but in the future, if you guys need tips for planning for nursing school, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, Y'all can find me on Instagram, come follow me over there. You can always send me a DM and ask questions. If you have any, if you need some help or whatever, I'll be more than happy to help you. And if you have video ideas, you can either comment below and let me know, or you can DM me on Instagram as well. That works too. I love your guys' ideas because it helps me know what you guys want to see. So if you do have ideas or things you'd like for me to create, please let me know. That helps me out tremendously. So that was my final semester nursing school planner. Now I will be getting my BS in. I don't know if I'm going to start that this fall or if I'm going to take a break, take a year off because our um, BSN program, you can do it online and it only takes a year. So I'm truly considering taking a year off from school just because I need a, I need a darn break from it. So I'm not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't have any, nothing set in stone at this point, but that was my nursing school planner. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and come hang out with me on Instagram. I'll see you guys in the next video.